I want to start so bad. You can't. You're not allowed. You Welcome don't get back. a bud. <gasps> Welcome back to Podcast the Hero. This is a special week. I'm going to compress that section real this hard. A, oh, you're going to have to. I'm going to have to scream squash it. it. It's a special week because this is the week where I take control. Oh, total no. control. I've told Fritzy to come in completely unprepared. It's real scary, guys. I don't know and what to I've, do. I've done it all. I've done it all. I don't know. If for a fact, we have it all, (laughs) but we got most of it. Okay. So let me start by saying this podcast is brought to you by fucking corn, green corn bot. Green corn? It's by the creamed corn bot. He's going to fucking come into your Discord and cream all over it. (gasps) You need him to come in and tell people your tour dates? Cream! Ew. You need him to come in and show you some pictures? Cream! I don't know, dude. It's a fucking podcast that you're listening to. <laughs> Up next, we got the Patreons. Big, huge fucking thank you to the Patreon subscribers. Do you want if, me to, to do the list? Yeah, I'd love for you to do the list. All so right. you are a little prepared. <laughs> We're and brought to you good. by the rat that lives inside Fritzy's butthole. That's a Patreon subscriber? Yep. <laughs> I swallow cum. Okay, that's fair. Source the odd Rob. Uh, Peggy. Peggy Green Street. Davy P. And my actual mom signed up. Phi. uh, A Common Thread. Evan. Zane. Rody Loves My Dink. Oh, yeah. Uh, Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Uh, Deconomus. Uh, and my actual Todd signed up. Okay. Zach, uh, the first Dan Cage, Pandas, Cornman, Jeffrey, Mason, TBJ, Yuri, Fruit, Ashwin, and High Tops. Is that Russell. Yuri Geller? No, oh, it's not Yuri Geller. Could be. But it's not. Wow, that's incredible. So what do we got in store for tonight, Fritzy? I don't know. know. You wouldn't tell me, and I was real real scared. (laughs) So tonight um, is, we're recording this on April 11th, and the Red Wings are tied in the standings with the Pens. Yeah. And maybe even Washington Capitals. Washington Capitals have one more point than them. Yeah. They're playing Buffalo. Seems yep. like a foregone conclusion that the Caps are going to win that game. But the Buffalo Pens was and... winning last I checked. Wow. They do have a way of surprising you, don't they? Yeah, they sure and do. Jeffrey Skinner. I like him. And he likes Emily in Paris. Uh, so I figured with your playoff hopes potentially on the line here, uh, I just I'd do a little snooping. We're not going to stick to hockey too much, but okay. I went on the Bleacher Report and I found this thing and it just said, Five things to never mention to a Red Wings fan. So I'm going to just take those five things and I'm going to mention them right out of the gate. And we're going to see if they should truly never be mentioned. Okay. Here we go. Number five. Yep. Ted Lindsay and the Players Union. Yeah, yeah. This is a while. We're talking a long time ago. This is a long time ago. Ted Lindsay. We're talking about the 60s. He's got a retired jersey. He's. You know, he was on the same line with Gordy Howe. But he said, hey, Abel. guys, let's fucking start a fuck. Let's join the union. Let's join the NHLPA. Yeah. And they got so fucking tired <laughs> that like the club got so tired of hearing his bullshit. They were like, you're traded. Fuck you. And then they didn't win the Stanley Cup for four decades. Yeah. Coo, coo bananas. Well, see, but to me, I think the players union, I think all unions are good. <laughs> yeah. The union I'm, pro, makes the I'm a pro strong. union guy, yeah. and uh, especially considering back then, right? Like players that back been then, 1954? In, in in all sports, all professional sports, were basically owned by their clubs. Yeah. They had no bargaining skills. There's a famous um, thing with Reggie Jackson and Billy Martin, or not Billy Martin, uh, the guy who used to own the A's. Reggie Jackson had the best year of his career. No, before Billy Bean. 
Oh, this is before. Billy this Bean is the guy that had the like ten yard line, the donkey on the field and stuff. I don't um, know baseball. <clears throat> he, uh, uh, Reggie Jackson had the best year of his career. The A's went to the playoffs. Like everything was great. And are you ba- reading that off? No, no, I'm just watching hockey. Do you prepare for me to fucking ask yeah. you about the Oakland A's? But because <laughs> I didn't. But here was the deal. Reggie went in, and at this time, before the players' union existed in Major League Baseball, you had a year-to-year contract. You just, every year, you had to renegotiate your contract to the end of every year. That sucks and, for everyone. Yeah. And Reggie Jackson went in and said, hey, I just had the best season of my career. I want to raise. And they offered him less money. And the reasoning, the owner was like, yeah, but like... That was an amazing season. I can't expect you to have that good a season next year. That's a pretty good point. So I'm not going to pay you more money for having a less season. I'm going to pay you less money. I back that. <laughs> so the, the corporation the will make the people strong. Oh, God. So right off the bat, that yep. doesn't bother you at no, all. No, not one bit. Uh, Bleacher Report, 0 for 1. Okay, number four, the Dead Wings era. Ugh. 1954 to 1997. Yeah. I mean, technically, yes, 97, because that's when they won the cup, but, like, they were getting a lot better before that. Like That's true. Basically, the Dead Wing era around here is considered every all, all the way up until Stevie Y's first season. Yeah, and that's then when the Stevie Dead Wing Y era, came in the league. What is the Dead Leaf era? Yeah. Came in as soon as Stevie Y came in the league, it was the Dead Wing era was considered over. Number three, 1994 series loss to the Sharks. Yeah. Now it says the previous season. Oh, the Devils have scored. Uh, it said the previous season the Sharks went 11, 17, and two, and they were underestimated. Wait, that can't be right. Yeah. Was there a lockout? I don't know. That's what it said in 92-93. That's, that's only 30 games. They only played 30 games. That's how bad they were. There must have been a lockout. Must have been. Or a strike. <laughs> Number two. Just the year after that 1994 series loss to the Sharks, there was the Stanley Cup final sweep to New Jersey. Yeah, that was rough. Now that's... Pretty wild. It's first time since 1996 that they had an appearance in the cup final, yep. and they got swept by yeah. what appears to be the bottom seed. Yeah. They, that year, mind you, I was, what, 95? I was like 15. So and, that's getting into a time where you- And living on the right? West Coast. Oh. Uh, and was it, was a Sharks fan. Oh. As a kid, because I lived in the Bay Area, and like it was the first local hockey team we had when the Sharks came in the league. And I got myself a, a fucking kick ass Pat Falloon jersey. And, uh, but, uh, they, they got out muscled basically yeah. in that, that series. Like, what was that guy? Uh, Scott something. The defenseman for the for New Jersey that just Oh Scott Stevens. Yeah. He just went around just fucking laying people out the yeah, whole just series. Smashing their just brains destroying in with his brains. Destroying brains all over the ice. That's Gary Glindross about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh now that leads us to number one. Oof. And this one is gonna be a little more recent memory. Okay. That is the two thousand nine game seven versus the Penguins. So That was a rough one because <laughs> it's the number one. Yeah, number one thing not to mention the Red Wings. Yeah, fans. it well, so well, it was the previous year, the year before that, where we went and won the cup on on pe- on the Penguins' home ice, and they won it on, and then they the came back in Game Seven and won it on ours. Yeah, and uh, you never want to lose the cup on your home ice. No, that's just and people. I. I will say the Bleacher Report, where I got this information yeah. from, uh, it, A, on top of it, it was like, Sidney Crosby's a little bitch. Uh, like, it said this, and they were like, that was Detroit like, deserved to win this game. Sidney Crosby's a cheater. Yeah. And being like, come on, Sidney Crosby 
I know there's people that hate Sidney Crosby out there, but like denying his greatness is foolish. There are still people in Detroit that call him Cindy Crosby because of that that series. He only played ten minutes in that game. That guy, like, if you think about it, they won the they won the cup that year, and it's now fifteen years later. Yeah. And Crosby, Malkin, and Latang are all still on that team. Yeah. And Crosby is clobbering you this evening. Right. <laughs> right. And this I mean, is this one. is a must get win game for us right now. Mm-hmm. We lose this must- game, our season's basically over. We but need we would need them. a lot of help. They it's the same for them though, isn't it? Well, yeah, but they get two they yeah. I mean, basically, because we're tied. They lose yeah. and th- this is like the this one's for all the marbles. Yeah, pretty much. And it's for who wants it more. And is Dylan Larkin back? Yes. Okay, so at least you have your main squeeze. 4-3. Three. Okay. Okay. 4-3. This is the so, same. We ended the first period with a, a goal in the final minute of the period, and we just got another one. Was it? Yeah, Jay Petrie. Petrie? Mm-hmm. Get out of town, dude. I won't. He so is not. He is not a good defenseman. But going to venture away from hockey now. I know he, you watch your hockey. Can I just tell you that Petrie is beloved here? Is he? Yeah, he's he not a good hockey player. Out. But his dad pitched for the Tigers. Oh, and is like a fixture on Tigers television broadcasts. And so everybody loves the whole Petrie coming home story, like at the end of his career to come back and play here. That's beautiful. Uh, but he's he's terrible, and so it, so is most of the Red Wings defense. I mean, basically, it's like the top top pair, and then everything under that is shit. Edvinson is going to be good, but he's not good yet. Sherratt is a fucking tire fire. Oh, he fucking sucks. That guy... I don't know if anybody's been more minus in their career than Ben Sherratt. Like, that guy <laughs> is on the ice for so many goals. It's ridiculous. So, listen. Okay. We'll go off of hockey. Sorry. I'm ranting. We got to get off of hockey because that's not what this podcast is about, and you know it. It should be, though. <laughs> you know what? Neither of us know enough about hockey. What do you mean? Interesting. Like, we both know. We know the a- exact same amount as everyone else doing hockey podcasts. <sighs> Which is I'd say next the majority of people doing podcasts, yeah, that's it, because we know next to nothing. But if you listen to the good ones, they're talking about shit that they know. Yeah. They member stuff. But they also, like, study Take it. notes. Yeah. Right. So now I, I went to AI, and I did an AI podcast. Oh, shit. I've sent it to you. It's going to be good. I think you're really going to like it. So you just All have right. to read it. All right. I'm not going not gonna to read ahead, though. No, don't. All right, here we go. <clears throat> AI podcast uh, presented by AI. Once I was a very lonely little Fritzy boy. Fritzy that's baby, good. I'm sorry. Once I was a little a very lonely little Fritzy baby. Okay, that's not that's not how it starts. I was so sad and lonely and everyone called me dirty little sexy names behind my back. Fucking what? Please, Rody, I need to get this out. Okay, I guess we'll read the AI script after. <laughs> Thank you. As I was saying, I was a lonely, sad boy who people were calling sexy behind my back. One day, I was being sad in the forest where I would often go to be sad. I picked up a rock and hurled it into the sky in frustration. Unfortunately, it struck a beehive. The bees were furious. They came out in a cloud, and I could have sworn it was formed. It formed a fist. Then the fist opened its fingers and wrapped around me, picking me off my feet. And then, go on, buddy. I'm here. And then the bees ate me alive. I'm sorry. What? The bees picked me up in a bee cloud shaped like a fist and ate me alive. Do bees even have mouths? That's the crazy part. They don't. They eat through their stingers. That that doesn't seem quite right. Okay, I'm glad that I got that off my chest. Now let's read your silly AI podcast prompt. <laughs> I, I I don't think we should. Come on. <laughs> we got all the hurtful stuff out of the way. Let's 
have some fun now. Okay, I'm sending it. Uh, I'll send it over to you now. Okay. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, is that? Uh, bu- oh, here we go. Buzz, buzz, buzz. It's me, your host, Bumble Fritz. Welcome to Behind the Hive. I'm here with my co-host, Bumble Cheese, and we're going to eat with our... St- Wait, what the fuck is this? Honestly, I don't know. Did you write this, or is it AI? It's AI, I swear. I have no idea how it predicted your trauma, but uh, whatever. Forget it. I've got a game. Oh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> don't be scared. It's fine. It's just questions for you. It's barely even a game. Okay. Let's go. Okay, all right. When was the last time you shit your pants? Oh, um, it was like a month and a half ago. Oh, you that's it. You're actually asking. Uh, I shit my pants every time I shit. <laughs> okay, when was the last time you barfed on your dick? Uh, pretty recently, but I can't be more specific than that. <laughs> When was the last time a cloud of bees formed a hand, picked you up, and ate you alive with their Come stingers? Come on. Fuck off. Okay, that's it. Did you write all of that? How long did this take you? No, no. It's AI. How will we know when it's over? We won't. It's still going. No, it's not. <laughs> this is not. It is. It's not. That was the podcast. I'm so wrote. fucking confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not AI. You did this. It might be. It is AI. I don't think it is. I think you, you did this, and I think you're a fucking weird genius. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did this. I don't think that. You know? Do you know when I think you? That was maybe very difficult to listen to for this. Do you know? Do you know? Like when you stand in a mirror with a mirror behind you, and you have infinite mirrors. Yeah, that was this. <laughs> this is infinite mirrors we're in now we're in an alternate universe yeah, we're not in this is not the podcast the hero verse we are now in behind the beehive verse if forever if i could only make it to the, so that we speak over each other more it would be more convincing i think yeah how do you but make it it, do it, that? it was as confusing as i hoped it would be it was really good <laughs> It was real, like the whole thing. I've got a game, and then I I say, "Oh no, I'm scared," which is exactly yeah. what I say every time you say you have a game. As I say, "Oh no, I'm scared." <laughs> it's so perfect. You okay, have a have- you have an innate ability to listen to people and like understand them. Do have you, you considered being time. a professional poker player? I haven't. You should. You read people real well. Listen, I gotta be honest with you. We're burning through my content. Well, but the the thing is, the B story is not far from the truth. I know. You got picked up by a swarm of bees that made a fist cloud. Yeah. But they didn't eat alive. me. They didn't eat you alive? No, they just carried me really high up in the sky and then dropped me to the ground. And they do eat with their stingers. Do they? They don't. They have mouths. Bees have mouths. Do bees have mouths? Yes. That's crazy. Bees Think about have it. mouths? When, Pretty sure bees like, have teeth. The Jerry Seinfeld bee movie, they had mouths and teeth. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they have but teeth. A bee tooth? Yeah. Are you living in an alternate dimension? I must be. Bees don't have... You must be? <laughs> you must be <laughs> shitting me. Yeah, bees don't have mouths. I did shit my pants, though, not that long ago. Yeah, you tried to answer that question earnestly yeah like i got a little thrown off because it was just feeling like our normal banter (laughs) and i was like well no let me think it was uh when i had the flu and i was testing a fart that uh, wasn't a fart and then when was the last time i barfed on my dick Mm -hmm. uh also during the same sickness but difficult to be more specific about yeah yeah i was in the shower I was almost going to go into something like really uh, graphic there. Oh, that's pretty graphic. But I stopped. I stopped. When was the last time I barfed on somebody else's dick? (laughs) Well, that's a different story altogether. So I not sexual. Not sexual in any way. No, the game isn't sexual. No, I was talking about barfing on somebody else's dick. It was not sexual in any way. 
Oh, yeah. That's not. It was just a thing. You barfed on someone else's dick? It wasn't sexual. I understand Don't, it wasn't sexual. It was not sexual. You know what? Now you've said that too many times, <laughs> and I believe it was sexual. It, it was not, not sexual. sexual. <laughs> <laughs> um, this may be the shortest podcast we've ever done. We've got plenty of time. We got all kinds of time left. I want to launch into this game. You do already. We're already in a game. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I you. I prepared a bunch of stuff. Yeah. That all took I'm, thirty seconds to do. <laughs> yeah. None of it takes very long. <laughs> yes. I, love I thought it. that that one would take longer. That's what they always say, right? Do when they? you write a script. Yeah. Like it seems really long when you're writing yeah. it. And then when you actually perform it, it takes like a tenth of the time. That felt like an eternity. I wrote it over two days. Yeah. <laughs> it was really well written. Well, thank you so much. Was- I can't wait to post it on Patreon. And I well, want to ask, I want to ask people to like record it. Oh, record themselves? Record doing themselves it? doing it, like with a friend or a partner. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then sure. send them in, post them. I think that would be fucking sick. That'd be really strange. It'd be awesome. It's like a cover. It is like a cover. This is a podcast cover. We're covering. We're covering this podcast. a podcast. You know what? There is a thing like that. Um, there's the backyard or the what's it called? They're two really funny guys. It's called like the backyard podcast or something like that, and they just like say funny stuff and i enjoy it Mm -hmm. but then there's another one that is two funny guys that seem a little less genuine and they have actually taken like word for word bits out of these other dudes mouths and it's like a podcast cover but that's really funny copyright infringement yeah i mean it is kind of stealing it's horrible like there's one where they're like straight up, what is it called? The backyard. Who there's a fuck. They're the um the Carlos Mencia of podcasts. That's really weird. Yeah, like there's one like it is like word for word. The one guy is like being like trying to convince the other guy that he thinks he's more capable of surviving a bear attack, like he could fight a bear. And it's like when the two guys are having that conversation, it's just like. One guy's saying something stupid and the other guy's kind of incredulous and it seems very genuine, very natural. Right. But when you watch the other one, knowing what you know, it's just like, oh my God, these guys are the biggest fucking phonies on earth. That's great though. We should steal from someone's podcast. Yeah. Just like who has a who has a it. popular podcast? Shane told. Okay. Let's just let's let's just start grabbing transcripts and yeah, but one of us will have to be one of the like quite famous guests that he's talking That's to. That's fine. I would just do it straight, though. Oh, you know what? I think we should slip it into an episode. <laughs> like, just all of a sudden, we are doing it with no fucking <laughs> no. mention of anything like that. And then just <laughs> pop back out of it, back into our regular bullshit, and see if anyone notices. We should. I'll have to I'll have to dig into that. <clears throat> so henceforward You'll never henceforward. know if this is original content or not, unless you listen yeah. to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, specifically the strange ones we're gonna listen to. Yep. Last podcast on the left or something. We should do a <laughs> we should do That's a, a you, so you know how there's like a ton of podcasts out now that are like we've done a couple of these, but like mostly it's like cast members of TV shows going back oh, and yeah. re-watching their show and then yeah. talking about it. The Office Gals. Yeah, The Office yeah. Gals. They did one for like um, uh, the Mike Schur one, um, The Ugly Good Betty. Place. Um, they did like a whole bunch. There's a ton of them out there. But yeah. we should do a it's a podcast episode review episode of the podcast reviews. Oh. And we should go through like the Office Gals episodes yeah. one at a time and recap their episodes. 
it like I feel like the whole thing has like the whole idea of doing that, and you know what? That's kind of what we're doing. So fuck, it's hard to make fun of it, but it's like it all has like very Jason Alexander energy to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it's like I haven't really been anything since I was George. Yeah, and like. Yep. I'm just going to talk about it so that people fucking that give a shit will maybe give me money. He was on Friends. He was in Star Trek. Listen, I'm a big fan of Jason Alexander. I like Jason Alexander, too. I I mean, I'm talking about just people that are typecasted, really, is what I mean by that. People that had one very significant role. Like Angela, what's her name? Angela Kinsey or whatever. Angela Bassett. Who plays Angela on The Office. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I thought you were talking about the woman who played uh, the woman on Murder. She wrote <laughs> Angela. Angela. Pussy. What? Pussy. No, it's um. It's Angela, though, isn't it? <sighs> Is it Angelo? No. <laughs> Angela. I think uh, also uh, Anthony Junior. And um, m- 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 what's her name? The children from The Sopranos. Oh, a podcast where they talk about it. Yeah, uh, Angela Lansbury. Angela, Angelo, 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 Lansbury. Angelo Lansbury. Um, the um, I always thought the whoever played uh, the daughter on the the Sopranos. Yeah, her name starts with an M in the show, and I can't fucking recall it. Um, I was always kind of bummed that she never really did much else after that. Did you like her? Like, yeah, I thought she was good. Um, I thought she was pretty cute. Meadow. 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 Um, she did some sitcoms and stuff, uh, you know, like tried that kind of thing, but it didn't really work out. Uh, Jamie Lynn Sigler. Oh. Um. But she never kind of took off, and I thought The Sopranos would be a bit of a jumping off for her. Yeah. Well, you know, with a name like Jamie Lynn, you got two choices in this world. Be Britney Spears' sister, or be on The Sopranos. Mm Mm-hmm. Or- That's it? No, there's one other. Oh, there is, and she was on The Sweet Life of Earl. No, that's she's not a Jamie Lynn, though. Is she not? Jamie no, I was Priestley. just talking about Jamie. That's Jamie Lynn Priestley. You're right. Jamie Lynn's. Jamie Lynn's. Uh, I I would be curious to know how many actors in adult films names are Jamie Lynn something over Jamie the years. Jamie Lynn Licker. Yeah, something like that. Now this is interesting that we're talking about names because my game. It's a name, is a name game. game. And here's the thing: it's a competition. Shit! It's you versus me. But you made up the will. game. <laughs> yeah, I know. But there's a way for me to win without really participating. Well, okay. here's the thing. They're just simple questions. Mm. And the answers are either going to be a, a person named John, a person named Sean, or a person named Ashley. However, here's the rules. Sean, John, or Ashley? If the person's name is John, you have to call them Sean. If the person's name is Sean, you have to call them John. And if the person's name is Ashley, you have to call them John. Wait. So if they're John, I have to call mm-hmm. them Sean. If yes. they're Sean, I got to call them John. Yes. And if it's Ashley, I got to call them John. Mm-hmm. And you cannot make any mistakes or I win oh, that, that point. It's only 10 questions. You ha- they're very simple. They're very How easy. How did you come up with this? I don't. I you don't know. The psychology <laughs> journal. <laughs> but you just have to get it this right. Is, this is one of those. This is like a psychology exam that's given to like graduate level psychology students uh, while they're locked in a prison cell with electrodes on their nuts. Yeah, I think you're. I, I think, think you're going to do great. I think I'm. It fucked. might be. Might be easier than I think, but. Yeah, I think your initial knee-jerk reaction is going to be say their real name, and you got to say their name with either John, Sean, or Ashley, John. You get it, John? Shall we begin? (sighs) Number one. 
I am probably the most famous snowboarder on earth and a three-time gold medalist. John. John what? White. <laughs> yeah. So you got it. Okay. So you just, you got to say the full name? Okay, full name. All right. I am a dead man that played guitar and sang for the Beatles. Sean Lennon. Yep. Which I think is also his son's name. Okay. I am the son of John Lennon. John Lennon. I, that wasn't in there. I just added it, but you get another, <laughs> you get another point for that. <laughs> My twin sister is named Mary Kay. John Judd. No. You're thinking Ashley? Judd. John Olson. Yeah. I think you get that point. That point is for me. I was thinking Ashley Judd because of the Judd. I know, the Judd sisters. Fuck. That's a good one. I didn't think of that. I am a tractor. Sean Deere. Oh, good job, buddy. Good fucking job. I thought I might have got you there, but you got it. You Sean got it. Deere. The- I am the lost dragon. John Connery? Well done. Well done. Wow, you are absolutely The Highlander? No, the fucking dragon movie. What's dragon movie? Braveheart or Dragonheart. I didn't see that movie. You didn't see the Dragonheart? No. How did you know the quote? Because the way you said it. I am the last. I, I also, am the last dragon. I thought it was uh, like a, the, there can only be one Highlander kind of thing. That is a good movie. And there can only be one. Okay, uh, this quote from the ner- the Terminator comes from Terminator Two comes from this character. There's no fate, but we'll be made for ourselves. Sean Connor. Well done, well done. I found that one quite tricky myself. He comes back. I from am the, the lead singer. What's that? He comes back from the future. Yeah, multiple doesn't times. Mean, doesn't mean he's not a Sean or a John. Yeah, I know. Or naturally. He, but he comes back to the, from the future. It should be I'm called least... back. That movie should be called Back to the Future. <laughs> that movie should be called. I don't know. Back to the back. Future too. <laughs> I am the lead singer for the boy band O Town. I won't be able to answer this because I don't know the the, the singer's name. But I feel like it's a Ashley, but it's a guy Ashley. Which makes it a John, but I don't know who it is. You get half point there. That's John Angel. Ashley Angel is the name of the singer of O Town. That's right. That's right. I did One not know that. Are Former you a big O Town fan? Hold on. Are you a big O Town fan? Of course, I'm a big O Town fan. Making the band? Are you? Kidding I never me? saw making the band. Oh, it was incredible. I didn't know that O Town was from a TV show. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's making the band, and the basically they were put together by what's his face, uh, Simon Cowell. No, something Diddy, Diddy. Combs. John, oh that guy, he's a bad John. Did you say John, John Combs? But the first time, what did you I say? Said John Combs. That's a point for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize uh, that. I wonder if those. Didn't... I wonder if those guys from O Town are okay. Undoubtedly not. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was women in the band too. I, wait, was there? They had that one video where they were like made of liquid, and I think it was. They were supposed to be cum, metallic oh, cum. Uh... A former president of the Continental Congress. Whose name is synonymous with signature? Sean Hancock. There you go. Star of Mad Men. Sean Ham. There you are. Kid I went to kindergarten with. Last name Stamper. John Stamper. God damn it! How did you get that? Because it's Ashley. <laughs> it's Sean. Oh, I thought his name was Ashley. No, it was Sean Stamper. Hmm. (laughs) Stamper's, that's it. It's two out of three. I mean, the odds were in my favor. Yeah. You did really great at that, though. I 
<clears throat> I don't like that I didn't points? know the O Town guy. No, or, I thought you would. I don't. I don't know much. I don't know much about boy band uh, people, yeah. with the exception of I know all the new kids on the block, and I know what's all the measure, like. I know who like Joey Fatone and um like the big ones but like i know there's a one guy named howie i don't know who that guy is oh yeah how howie's in the bsb i don't know and that's the other thing i if it's in sync or backstreet boys or 98 degrees i can't tell you who was in which one oh you know what howie is in bsb but i just realized he's not the guy i thought he was i thought he was the big tall old guy in backstreet boys but he's actually the short cute Guy that nobody liked in oh. Backstreet Boys. That's Howie. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, there are not a lot of Ashleys that are guys. You know what? There's not a lot of Ashleys that are famous in women. True. There's not a lot of Ashleys. I, I picked that name because I was like, oh, I know fucking 300 people named Ashley. I had a dog yeah. named Ashley. Oh, things are going bad for you. Yeah. Penguins just scored another goal. Yeah. A shorty. And this oh, better be. No. Did he is he offside? Is he offside? Is he offside? Is he offside? The puck has to be all the way in. Uh, I think he might be. You think he might be offside? Not in the wings game in the college hockey Frozen 4. Oh, you're watching. I got Frozen two 4. hockey games going on right now. I've got one as well. And we've made a 36-minute podcast that I but, planned entirely and am almost out of material. Well, I have some bonus material that we can use. You brought some boner material? Well, we have gifts. Yeah, that's the one thing that I do have left. And I also uh, wanted to break down um, what happened on Monday. Monday was kind of a big deal, and it is a follow-up to our previous week's episode. So I wanted the to talk about that eclipse. a little bit. Huh? Was it the solar eclipse? No, it was breakfast cereal. Um, <clears throat> but we could do gifts. How did you know that I would be completely unprepared to bring to do a whole podcast on my own? How did I know? How did you know? Well, I mean, I didn't know. But you did. I, you I'm did. a prof- I'm a professional. You know, and he says, uh, "In uh, what are you worried about? We're professionals. Professional what? Um." Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, I've never seen that. What? Is it any good? It's very good. It's a classic. Does anyone wear a shirt in it that says what you're looking at, cock nose? No. Nobody? No. Are you absolutely positive? Pretty sure. Yeah. Not even his best friend? Yeah. His name's Cameron. The car that they take from his daddy? The car is pretty sweet. And he's not wearing a shirt that says what you're looking at, dick nose? No, I don't think so. At no point? No, he's uh, mostly during that movie, he's wearing a a, a, a Blackhawks jersey. Underneath it, he's wearing a t-shirt that says, what are you looking at, dick no. It is? Yes. You know that for a fact. I've seen the movie, and that's- You said you didn't see the movie. Part. I lied. Why? Why would you lie? That's my favorite thing to do is take a big piece of media that everyone's seen, like the Shawshank Redemption, and say, I've never seen it and I don't know where Zintao Tonejo is. (laughs) I can't even say the word. (laughs) What is the word? I don't know. (laughs) What is the place? Ziwa Tonejo. I found it. I found it in my mind. That's your favorite thing to do? Is tell people, I've never seen that. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, just like when you know everything like, about it, they'd be like, "Oh, that's like a, that Metallica song," and I'm like, "Metallica? Who's that?" I don't know anything it's about Under Sandman. Like a local band? Like you've heard Metallica, and I love when people do it to me too. Like someone mentioned something about Game of Thrones one time. Wait, and what's I was that? With this guy, and he was like, "What is that? What What are you talking about?" Oh, exactly. But he, what his was was he was like, "Oh, is that show any good?" I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. You, you haven't seen Game of Thrones? And he was like, no. I, like, I heard a commercial for it on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this guy can stay. Because <laughs> he's fucking with me. And I like to be toyed 
I mean, I've never seen anything Harry Potter, and people don't believe me when I say that, but... Yeah, that's good. I've never seen it. it. I read three of the books and watched all of the movies. Yeah. And, you, and I don't like it. You don't? No. Oh. This is for fucking babies, dude. That's, I'm a grown man. That's what I thought. <laughs> my my thing is, like, when if somebody's like, you should watch Harry Potter or read Harry Potter, I'd just, like, go, okay, I'll just read Lord of the Rings again. Yeah, that's probably true. I mean... I, I'm not. I mean, if I'm going to spend my time on wizards and magic, you know. Yeah. I mean, J.K. Rowling can kiss my smooth Yeah, she's smooth, also a my smooth person. cheeks. But um, that's not why I don't like Harry Potter. I read it as an adult, th- the first three books, and I was like, oh, like, yeah, this would have been magical if I was a child, but I'm not a child. Mm. So I, I just, it's not for me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, wasn't made for me. And on top of it, J.K. Rowling's is a fucking turf. Yeah, so fuck it. What do you got there? Uh, my gift for you. Oh, I'll send you my gift for you. Did you? Did you maybe just update the assist? I bet Austin Matthews. Oh, Austin Matthews just got a penalty. I think. No, did I did not. I, no, I, this is something new. I do want to <laughs> sort of new. that. Um, let me see if I can send it from here. Okay. I'm just learning how to use this. Yeah, you're a fucking cuckoo Apple guy now, hey? Yeah. I love it. It makes everything easy for me. I canceled my American... Uh, what, what do you call that with your phone and it's like the plan associated with it? Oh, like your the thing so you international? Yeah, my international phone plan. Nice. I'm glad you were able well, to I do that. Why can't cages? Why can't I Save me 15 bucks a month? Why can't I add things from iCloud to iMessage? You can. But it won't let me. Go to it in iCloud and then find the little share oh. button. See? Very intuitive. Mm-hmm. Much more intuitive than that Android garbage That's you're so nice. used to. However, don't get used to having like files at the ready. That's not. Hmm, no. You don't own those anymore. Uh, did, let's see if you got it. I can hold it up. I bought a new pump for my. Oh, there it is. It's me. Mm-hmm. Is it me? Mm-hmm. It's hard to say because those aren't my glasses. Yeah, I know. This is a this is version two. Cheese, cheese by Fritzy. This is actually quite nice. I remember the original one. Yes, yeah. it was very bad. Yeah, but this is quite nice. So this is just version two. There will be for future versions. Oh, did you do that on your iPad? Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. Did you get an uh, Apple Pencil? No, I, I. well, I thought I got an Apple Pencil. Shoot, you got a friggin' pear pencil? And it was like a fake Apple Pencil. That should work. And that's it was fine. like uh, 25 bucks. And I was like, oh, that's nice that Apple isn't charging you an arm and a leg for the little stylus that makes it work. That's really nice of them. Um, that's, I'm surprised by that. And then I went into like draw and Photoshop and it was like, you can't do that. <laughs> this thing that you're trying to draw with is unsupported. And I was like, what do you mean it's unsupported? Like, how could that even be? Right. It's just a fucking like thing that touches a surface and like makes such. A... <sighs> so. How could that possibly be? I got a, I got a, a different, it, it, you can use other ones in. Fresco, which is a, a a different app. It's Adobe Adobe like painting app, and so I I did it in there, um, and then sent that other shitty pen, pencil thing back and bought an actual one. Um, so it'll be here on Saturday. So the end, yes. like I got part way through it when I it was just too frustrating, and I was like, "Fuck this thing," and so that's when I like got the cartoon hands and feet. Oh yeah, and I just was like, I'm just gonna, not gonna draw them. I'm just gonna put them in, and uh, okay. 
So it's going to get so much better. Yeah, it's just going to continue to get better. And I'm going to keep iterating on it because I like the idea of you as a hunk of cheese. I like it too. <laughs> now the Leafs are losing. Don't you love it when there's a team that's like not even fucking got a sniff of the playoffs just like fucking with you, making your goaltender lose confidence? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They got five goals on 18 shots. What are you doing? I'm are just being sad. To... Uh, I got to play yours. Yeah, I know. But... You're being sad about Detroit? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, this is a, an MP3. Yeah. And it's called Bumble Fritz. Bumble Fritz, yeah. Bumble Fritz theme song. I put all my bees in the same basket. <laughs> <laughs> I put all my bees into the Bumble Fritz basket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a Bumble Fritz. I'm gonna be a bee. Do you know I'm terrified of bees? I didn't, but most rational people are. They, they sting you, and it hurts. Yeah, and it hurts. Now, do you call like, do you call wasps bees? No. No, you call them wasps. Yeah. Like yellow jackets and all that. Yeah. Well, I call yellow jackets just yellow jackets. And I hate them the most of all of them. They're the scariest, for sure. But I got stung Uh, in the face by a paper wasp. What's a paper wasp? It's terrifying looking. You can look it up. It's very terrifying. And um, All right, let's see. They had made a nest in a tree in my front yard, and I didn't know it was there, and I was just mowing my front lawn. And I kind of got down under to get under the tree. And apparently I made them very mad and they came out and one stung me right on the face and it hurt so bad. But these are just regular wasps, they're, aren't they? They're scary looking. Uh, in so far as all wasps yeah. are scary looking, yes. Yeah. I've killed thousands. And then my neighbor, <clears throat> so I went out in the night when they're supposed to be sleeping. Yeah. And I emptied two cans of like wasp spray into that nest and they didn't give a fuck no they thrive (laughs) and so my neighbor uh found out about it like this little kid he was like 10 Mm -hmm. and uh and i came home from work one day to find him and his little sister riding their bikes uh up and down the sidewalk in front of my house i'm like what are you guys doing they're like, nothing, don't worry about it. I'm like, no, you got it. Why are you just riding back and forth in front of my house? You know there's that wasp nest right there. And they're like, so it's fine. I said, don't you guys fuck with that. I don't want you getting stung. Blah, 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 blah. So they go home. I come home the next day from work, and there is wasp nest in pieces all over my front yard. They smashed it. Yeah, they decided that the best course of action was to ride past it very quickly with baseball bats and just whack at it. That is the best course of action. (laughs) The only thing wasps understand... Is violence. Is violence. (laughs) Honestly, you can try everything you want. You have to smash their fucking... their nest, and when it's on the ground, smash it to bits so that they know that it was done with intention. Otherwise, they'll just rebuild it. Yeah. So they saw me, the kids saw me come home and they came out. They said, we took care of your wasp nest for you. And I was like, I told you guys not to mess with it. And the kid goes, are wasp nests like beehives? Like, can you eat them? And he reaches down to pick up a piece of this wasp nest that is soaked with like chemicals chemicals that I sprayed into it and is about to put it in his mouth. And I had to like smack it out of his hand and be like, dude. There's so much poison in what you were just about to put in your mouth. Like, why would you do that? You should have let him do it. No, he's a nice kid, but like. Uh, No 
nobody, no crime. Well, thank you for the song. I love it. I love having a theme song. <laughs> I'm going to, now I got to start planning my Bumble Fritz costume. Um, oh, maybe I could draw a nice picture of Bumble Fritz. Yeah, I think probably. Also, like, do you think um, Bumble Fritz, you know the, the Bumblebee girl from Blind Melon? Maya the Bee? No. No, yeah, I know my, I know Blind Melon. Come on. All I can say yeah, the, is that my d- I'm pretty sure the Bumblebee girl's wearing a tutu. She is, yeah. Does that mean I have to wear a tutu? You don't have to, but you could. Do you remember that show, Maya the Bee? No. Maya, Maya the Bee. It's about a, it was a, nice a spelling show. bee? No. She doesn't ever bumblebee. spell on that show? Uh, I can't confirm or deny. Um, it's been probably 20 years since I've seen it. Do you remember the episode of Community when they dress up as bees? Mm, no. Because they're doing um, like an anti-drug presentation for like a oh, high school. Yes. And the dean no, comes mean. in in his I bee mean. costume. And Troy goes, why does he get a front stinger? This, yeah. <laughs> I do recall that. I want a front stinger. So I want people to comment. I want them to write in and let us know what you think of a totally, totally planned podcast. Yeah. Is this better? Is it worth it? I put, like, I don't know how you do it, Fritzy. I think maybe you make, you put in all this same effort that I do. Dylan Larkin scored. Yeah. You put in all the same effort that I do, but then you just rely on me to fill up a bunch of the space. Yeah. But I got really excited and just flew through my shit like... It was flying through me. <laughs> Mine was flying through me too earlier. Um, <clears throat> do you guys have Panda Express in Canada? I want to say yeah, but I again I cannot confirm. Okay, that. so you're not like a you not you're not a Panda Express like. We have Thai Thai Express. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's like a pad Thai. Yeah, Panda Express is like a fast food Chinese food chain. Yeah, we have similar fucking chains of it, but I don't think... I don't know that we have Panda Express. Leave a comment in the comments if we have Panda <laughs> Express. It's, um, it's like the best going in, Yes, uh, but it always comes out real bad. But it always comes out bad. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so, I wanted to talk real briefly. Okay. Over the uh, weekend... I uh, went to Ohio. <gasps> the Path of Totality. Yeah, to the Path of Totality Festival. It was a concert uh, featuring a mm. bunch of death metal bands. Yes. Is that that's what we're talking that's about? That's right. Right? Oh. That's what we're talking about. Um, <clears throat> did you guys, was Toronto in the Path of Totality? I don't know. It got really dark. <laughs> you didn't bother to, like, check? I was in the basement exercising. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was like, ooh, it's pretty dark out. And that was it? That's right. <laughs> so we went, and we looked at this thing with special glasses. Ew. Yep. They look like 3D glasses. You probably glasses. had those x-ray glasses that you bought out of the back of the comic yep. book, hoping to see it, Jenny's underpants. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it looked really cool. By the way, like once it goes it into is? full totality, you can take yeah. the glasses off and look at the sun, and it's real creepy. But you got to get them back on there before it starts slipping yeah, out yeah, again. Like four, that's when four, really... There's like a four minute window. Yeah. And so, um, I got to say, full totality has got to be pretty. Uh, what do you call it when a uh, thing describes itself twice? Full and totality. Yeah. When it's in total, yes, it's redundant. Redundant, that's what it's um, <clears throat> uh, when it, you to say. It, it got real dark. Mm-hmm. Like it was nighttime, almost. At like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, but it was like more like, you know, like nine o'clock at night in the summer. When it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's going to bright out. <laughs> but it's dark, but it's like bright, yeah. you know? It was like that. Yeah, summertime. And then it got um, really cold. Really? Yeah, it was warm, like a little uncomfortably warm for the season, like in the mm-hmm. mid to upper mid seventies. 
Yeah, it's those days. You know what? It's gonna thunderstorm in the next few days. And we were weird. we were out in the sun, like directly in the sunlight, sitting out like on a on a big lawn. And you love that. You and love uh, and then as we you got to like ninety five percent, it started to get a little cooler. And then when it got f- to totality, it got cold and like cold enough that I was like, I need a sweatshirt right now. Like I'm chilly. Sorry, Tavares just scored a goal and it scared me. I saw a video of Tavares listening. the other day. Uh, Eating kale salad? No, on um, <clears throat> uh, over in overtime, just sort of walking mm-hmm. back on defense while his team lost. He's not a very defensive-minded player. Yeah, but I mean, like three on three, you kind of got to hustle, and he just was kind of like, meh. He's pooped. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know how old he is? Yeah, he's like a million. For real, though. Do you know how old he is? Like in the NHL, he's a million. 36. Not even that old? 33? That's the one. 33 years old? He's 33 years old. The oldest player in the NHL plays for the Leafs. It's Mark Giudano. How old is he? How old he is? 38. He is a little older than that. 41. He's a little younger than that. 39. He's a little older 40. than that. 40 years old That's is correct. the oldest player in the league? It is the oldest player in the league. Do you remember the days when, like, Chelios was playing in his Gordy early... Howe played till he was a billion. Yeah, but Gordy Howe also, like... Yeah, he's different. But he also got, like, um, he was out of the NHL for a while and then came back for just, like one game or one season or something to become the oldest player ever to play. Detroit tied it up? Yeah, I'm watching. Holy shit, how are you even talking to me? Like, I'm fucking celebrating a tying up at 5-5 for this game that means nothing. It's because I'm a... You don't even... I'm a pro. You didn't even... You didn't even react, I'm a pro, baby. If they win, you won't be a pro. Yeah, I will. You'll be but when they fun. lose, I'm gonna do Butter. I'm gonna do the roadie thing when they lose, which is what is that? Look at my watch and go, oh, and then just get into it. That's what I do. I know, because it's disappointing. Yeah, when it matters, yeah. and this matters. I mean, if this mattered, I wouldn't be here. You would, yeah. be honest with you. You would be uh, not would. doing this. Um, yeah. Anyway, so solar eclipse happened. Yeah, and I'm sorry for taking us away from that's that okay. Right? Solar eclipse happens. It's real weird. It gets cold. And then the solar eclipse goes away. And as it's like halfway done going away, Mm -hmm. this dude is like, hey, you want to come look at my telescope? This guy had this big ass professional telescope set up and go. Yeah. And you can look at it all big. It was really cool. Did you have to have glasses? No, because he had like all the like professional filtering the on the telescope itself. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then uh, afterwards, we went to eat some dinner and uh, found out that my nephew, I guess it's not my nephew, it's my wife's nephew. Uh, That's your nephew. Is he my nephew? My wife's nephew is becomes my nephew. Yes. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, yeah. his girlfriend has a I Think You Should Leave tattoo. Oh, you sent me that. Yeah. And I love that. There's a can of worms. So are the worms. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I love it. And so uh, I was very, very impressed by that tattoo. And um, the best show. So then I just started watching uh, I Think You Should Leave Again from the beginning. Um, and that's how I spent uh, my weekend. It was pretty great. That sounds like a beautiful weekend. Yeah, it was. You know what I did? It was really great. What did you do? I went to my friend Alicia's house. Ashley? My red or neck. John? Mr. Party. You went to John? Alicia. Oh, Alicia. Uh, and uh, she had a redneck murder mystery party. And I participated in that. It was wonderful. Were you the murderer? No, I was not. I was a plain sight red herring. Who was who was the murderer? Uh, there was this one girl that was supposed to be there that was supposed to play with the character of my mother, and she wasn't feeling very well, so she left. So the honor fell to Alicia, the 
host and birthday girl. Ah. Happy birthday, Alicia. And uh, not that she'd ever fucking listen to this garbage. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I told my therapist I'd stop. Uh... <laughs> Just kidding. I went to one fucking therapy. Uh, <laughs> but um, so it was great. And she was the murderer at her own murder mystery party. Oh, my God. The devil's got another fucking goal. I feel like the NHL... Has been so much about like more scoring, right? Like it's six five in that Leafs game right now. Yeah, that's too many goals in a hockey game, especially for eighteen shots. It should be like, hockey games should be at most like three goals on a side. I don't know. I'm down for more scoring, but like this is fucking stupid. I mean, at, the, at some point, it just becomes lacrosse. No. Yeah. Um, I I noticed but- that Cage had mentioned that everyone thought that she would be the murderer. Yeah. I just went around and tried to confuse everyone. Like, there was a character named Susie, and I came in and I said to another character, I gave her some money, and you're supposed to get, you have, like, fake game yeah. money. And I said, I said, I'm supposed to give you this $45 and tell you that Susie's favorite football player is... And then I said a name of a football player that had come to my mind. And I can't think of it now. <laughs> and then I I just did that to someone. And I just introduced a whole bunch of bullshit into the game. And afterwards, people were like, what was with that? What was that about? You're like, it was a red herring is what it was. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm drinking Coors Lights. <laughs> and I'm eating Triscuits. I cannot believe this game is six five. This is how did um how how did the staples in your pants work out? I didn't wear those ones. I was gonna just staple the crotch. I decided not to. Hey, we did it. We made it to an hour. Did we? It fell apart at the end as the hockey started falling apart. But I think we did well. And I think at this point we should just shut it down forever. We should shut it down in case we either of us have to cry. <laughs> I think it's more likely going to be you. Yeah, I do too. But it could be me. I cry a lot, and when I do it, I cry large volumes. Oh. Yeah. I collect it in a basil jar under my chin, (laughs) and I have to rehydrate with it. You shouldn't rehydrate with tears. It's very salty. It's salty like Gatorade. No, it's salty like ocean water. No, it replenishes your No, it doesn't. It makes sure you does. no. It makes you more thirsty. No, trust me here. Trust me. Who would know? I would know. You or Frazier? Frazier. <laughs> hey, everybody can eat shit and go fuck themselves. This is the Jody and Fritzy <laughs> podcast. A bumble. You want to bumble with the bee, huh? <laughs> Toss a hex on your whole family. You bumble with the bee, you get the stinger, and it Bzz. it eats you. Come with its mouth. Come in, come in. <laughs> It eats you with its mouth stinger. Its it stinger mouth. It's bum stinger. But. Is he she?